Good morning, everybody. It's Candace again out here in my backyard coming to you live from the backyard in Davenport. Um, and as always, I am here with my dogs. In case you could see from the thumbnail, I'm going to take this lovely link here and post it to our Facebook page in case people forgot. Um, and that way people can join. So hopefully you guys saw Schooner. He's all dressed up. I am going to use my dogs during this webinar a little bit more than I have um, before. So that's exciting because who doesn't love seeing doggies on this nice overcast day? It's not too hot, not too cold. Feeling pretty good out here. Hopefully you guys are having a great day. Um, don't forget there is a chat function over to my right or your left. I don't really know, but be sure that you guys use that. Say, hey, ask any questions. Um, and again, I'm going to be using my lovely phone for notes. So that way um, I can make sure I cover everything. And again, if you guys have any questions, make sure you guys ask me. Hey, Beth, what's happening? I saw Beth's lovely face yesterday on one of our meetings. It was it's nice to see a, a friendly face. All right, so without further ado, I'm going to go ahead and get started because I've rambled now for a minute and a half almost. So, um, you guys, if you have foster pets now, if you've had them in the past, if you're going to plan on fostering, what do you? What is the main goal of what we do at Pet Alliance? Saving lives and getting pets adopted. So, um, today we're going to cover how you can get your pet adopted. Um, our lovely marketing manager, Karen Morris, did read over this um, and she approves. If you guys um, are familiar with our social media channels, um, she does a great job. She really does. I love what she does. There's part of a dog. Triple, you want to come say hi? Anyways, um, so you guys are trying to get your pets adopted. If you yourself don't fall in love with them, um, you're trying to find them a home. And then it's even a bonus if it's somebody that you know, so then you can stalk them like I do with all of my past fosters. Just kidding. There are a couple fosters, though, that I get to keep tabs on because my friends adopted them. So um, I'll show you guys real quick what's going on. I do have my dogs dressed up like superheroes. They're hanging out. Schooner is Batman. We've got the Hulk and Captain America. And we're going to get into why they're all dressed up in a little bit. But I'm sure you can guess it's because it makes for amazing pictures and videos. So um, we uh, we actually do apply for Maddie's Fund uh, apprenticeships. I'm not sure if you guys... Hey, Jessica, what's up? Um, are familiar with that, but it's where we can go on apprenticeships and learn about things. So I went on an apprenticeship up to Charlottesville and it was amazing. Um, I got to learn about the field trip program and the sleepover program, which we have a webinar about our pajama pooches in a couple of weeks. Hey, Pat. Um, so be on the lookout for that. Um, but anyways, so during this apprenticeship, um, we actually got to take a dog out and then we did a marketing plan for them. And there's my goofballs in the background, as always, being entertaining and rolling around. Um, so we got to do a whole marketing plan around them, took, take a bunch of pictures. A lot of the stuff that they focused on are were um, tips, tricks, what you should be doing. Um, and we're going to dive into that. So some of this is going to um, be reflected on what I learned through the apprenticeship. I got to take a dog hiking around the Blue Ridge Mountains, which was amazing. His name was Chief. Um, and then when we were done with Chief, uh, I was partnered up with a gal and we actually decided that Chief was a big beefcake because he was a big old blockheaded pity mix. Um, and he was super strong, um, and in shape and he loved, I mean, he hiked five miles with us and didn't even seem like he'd gone anywhere. Um, so we made up that we, he was a hiking machine that he would keep you fit during, um, Thanksgiving because it was during the holidays. Goofballs. Um, so it's really going beyond just saying, here's a picture of a dog and saying, this dog's for adoption. Let us know if you're interested. Um, so that's what we did. Um, I skipped over uh, using words like energetic or um, crazy. There goes my water. Um, and I used words like he's muscly. Uh, he's got a sweet smile. He's a lady killer. He'll keep you in shape, things like that. So um, that's what we learned about. It wasn't only focused on the field trips and the sleepovers. Uh, so we created a personality for him. We humanized him. We made him seem like he was a dog that liked to go out and go for hikes and 
really enjoyed it and that you would have a hiking buddy. Um, and he also liked to jump in the river like there was a creek and a river going through. So he got to go swimming in there. Um, <clears throat> so with uh, with that, you really want to humanize the dog. So um, I have got my lovely little doggies here and they're hanging out. So I've kind of humanized them. They look like they're ready for Halloween. So Triple is dressed as the Hulk, so we can use her as an example. Um, so if we are going to humanize Triple right now as she's running around and being crazy and trying to Hulk smash, and she, while she's wearing that, we might say straight up that Triple is the Hulk. She likes to run around and smash things, um, but really she's got a sweet disposition and is loyal and will do anything for those she loves because that's pretty much what the Hulk does. So we're humanizing Triple. We're giving her some human traits. Triple! Do not chew on your brother's costume. I have to deal with that all the time, too. Um, we might not promote that she's a costume chewer, or maybe we would because some people might find that funny. But really, if it was a stop sign, we'd, we'd uh, skip over it. Anyways, um, and then if we did Hops, she's being Captain America right now, but Hops is just chilling out. So you really just want to use words, again, that humanize the dogs. Um Schooner, I would say that he's a big log who will vacuum your floor because he's a dog that's food motivated. So he would definitely keep your floors clean um, and he would clean your plates for you, um, things like that. It's not uh, I'm going to eat everything in your house kind of thing. So you're really making it cute, fun and creative. Um, the other things when you guys are posting pictures of your pets and I have this off to the side, sorry, um, is don't just post a picture of them. I mean, unless there's something exciting going on. Again, there are things to be said of a puppy with puppy eyes looking cute. Absolutely, that will um, tug at heartstrings. But when you guys have those adult cats or those adult um, dogs that are a little bit harder to adopt, you really want to try and dress that picture up. Take the pictures with you guys, because again, that's showing that connection that people can have. If they see you having a connection with the dog, they're going to picture themselves having a connection with that dog or that cat. If you're sitting there, even if the cat's on your lap, um, if you dress them up, um, it shouldn't just be some random picture of a dog looking off into a distance or a cat looking off into the distance, unless they're looking at something, there's a subject there. Um, one of our volunteers posted a cat uh, sitting next to a pineapple looking out the window. So that was a cool picture because you can see the cats doing something. Plus there's a crazy pineapple next to them. Um, I don't remember if it was a boy or a girl, but there's something else going on in, in the picture. Of course, everybody does love close up pictures of animals. Um, so let's see, what else do I have going on here? Um, it's all about making the pet relatable, cute, interesting. You don't want to just make it boring. Um, if you want, you can do videos as well. So, uh, Schooner, come here. It's really cool if you have a dog that does tricks or you've been working on tricks with a dog, whoever, whichever dog wants to come over here. So if I was going to make a video of making my dog show off and I wanted to get them out for adoption and into a home, I could video them doing the tricks that I've taught them. Come here, Schoons. Which usually, well, both of them came here. Okay, sit, sit, beg. Good job. Triple, can you beg? Good job. All right, this one, they're both gonna try and come through, but we'll see. Peekaboo. Good boy. Can you look right? Good boy. Sit, sit, sit. Lay down. Can you roll over? I don't know if you guys could see that, but he did do a successful rollover. And then Hops is gonna sit for me and beg. Nope, Hops, sit, sit, give me a paw. So doing things like that, showing tricks, Triple, can you catch that? Even something like that, especially if you want to say that um, they're good at catching, they play baseball, football, or you want to relate it back to a sport, that's something you could do. Um, hops isn't always the best catcher, but if you guys want to do something where you video tricks, by all means do it because people find that interesting. It's cute. I don't know why. Even if cats do are doing it, um, thank you, Jessica. Um, if you can teach a cat to do a high five or sit on its back legs or something, people find that interesting. I don't know what it is about animals. They could be, um, eating Cheez-Its with you, which that's another thing. If you guys, I know we're not supposed to feed our animals crazy things, but if you were going to do, for instance, because I have Cheez-Its right here, 
I could take a picture of myself sharing Cheez-Its. So, Pops, come here. Come here, get a Cheez-It. Sit up here. Come on. Or Hops being super cute. Look, Hops likes Cheez-Its. Also, you could tag Cheez-Its and then they might use it on their channel and boost it uh, even more. Um, but don't be afraid to use food as a prop, um, especially to get them motivated. Come here, guys. Because my dogs love Cheez-Its. Look at the snout in the bottom corner. <laughs> there you go. Um, but don't be afraid to show subjects of them sharing food, eating food, that kind of thing. Because again, it's humanizing. It's making them seem like they can be your buddy. Like you can treat them almost like kids. I mean, that's how I treat my dogs, really. Everybody that knows me knows how much I love my dogs and how I spoil them. They also sleep in my bed sometimes. Um, <clears throat> you know, it could be videos of them running in slow motion, um, even of them snoring, because even though you might hate that uh, your significant other, hey, Barbara, uh, snores for some reason. Again, dogs and cats snoring is cute. At least I think it's cute. And most of the world does because there's videos upon videos of dogs and cats snoring. Um, what else? Rolling around and being silly like when my dogs were rolling around in the grass. That's great footage. We have a video of Tank rolling around in one of the play yards and that's super cute. Um, what else do we have here? Um... If you are doing a video, make sure it's less than 60 seconds. Uh, these days, videos, uh, for the most part, people have a short attention span. So if it's just you doing something with the dog, um, make sure it's, or cat, uh, make sure it's less than 60 seconds, um, unless you're doing like a compilation thing and there's music and other elements to it, then it can be a little bit longer. But I wouldn't say go past two minutes and 30 seconds on that one. But if you're do just doing short clips, make sure it's less than uh, 60 seconds. Um, you can make memes. Everybody knows what a meme is, right? Uh, I will pull one up here in case you guys don't know what it is, but I'm going to guess that you do. Um, but you can make memes and have a lot of fun with it. Don't be afraid to do that. Um, of course, you don't have to, but there's the meme for you, which I thought this was really funny. What jokes are allowed during quarantine? Inside jokes. Oh, so if you guys want to be funny um, and play off stuff, feel free, um, because everybody likes a good meme. Um, let's see. Like there's another one that there's a dog that says not to brag, but I'm already neutered. See, it's a funny joke. Um, I'm glad you thought it was funny too, Jessica, because I was laughing a lot when I first read that. Um, another one says dog park and chill. Uh, quarantine life isn't so bad when you're a cat. Um, just make sure that if you guys are doing memes that the text is legible and large enough for people to read. You don't want it to cover, obviously, the dog or cat's face, um, but you want it be, to be big enough for them to read it. So um, don't be afraid to kind of live on the edge. Obviously, keep it appropriate, appropriate but if you guys want to make jokes about stuff, that things that are relevant, if you're trying to reach a certain kind of audience, like if you have a dog or a cat that is named something specific, so you guys might know that all my dogs have to do with beer. Schooner's a beer glass. Triple's an actual kind of beer, a Belgian triple. And then Hops is a beer ingredient. Um, some people think Hops is named because she's a tripod. Um, and Triple is my third dog. Uh, so if I wanted to pander to a beer drinking audience, if I was going to try and adopt one of them out, I could, you know, put a beer next to Triple and say... What's better than a Belgian triple sharing it with a dog named Triple? You know, something like that. So you guys can can pander to a certain audience if you would like. Um, when you are writing captions or a story, you want to make sure that it's that people can make a personal connection and make it exciting. Um, if you guys are are doing videos or anything, you can share of how you came to foster um, anything about the pet's background and anything crazy that happened while they're in your home. So if you guys want to do live stuff, videos of dogs getting a bath are good. It shows their temperament. Yes, that is a good fact, Pat. Um, if you're bathing your dog, whether it's the shower or outside with the hose, um, my dogs run through the sprinklers sometimes. Um, 
that's a good point. So yeah, if you want to show off their temperament as well, that's awesome. Um, you can't, I'll, we'll go over um, a couple other things here. Um, but really, you can make up a story about them and you want to, like I said, do make them human, give them a background, be creative. You guys, we're giving you the power of whatever you want to do with these pets. Um, play off their names, play off their personalities, make up whatever you want. Um, so there are things that you want to remember and they are called pups. I went over this the other day on our Foster to Adopt webinar, but I'll just go over them again in case we've got some any newbies watching this morning. Um, post one to three times daily on more than one platform. So if you are posting about your dog or cat, make sure that it's different. You don't want to do the same thing every time. So uh, you, you, know, you can say, um, Hops says good morning. Um, come here, Hops. Let's say, let's make you say good morning. So this would be super cute. Um, if you had hops here, she hates being picked up like this, but I'm going to show you anyway, because she looks so cute with her little hood on, if we can pull it up. So if I was going to take a picture of hops, I'd put her little hood up and she's dressed up like Captain America. So you could say, good morning. I hope you have a super awesome day because she's a superhero. Um and try and get her to smile, even though she's not very happy that her hood's on right now. Um, thanks, Ops. Thanks for being a model. But you could play off that all day. Say, um, I'm, you could say that Hops was in the middle of the day, that she was fighting crime and she earned dog bones for her lunch. Um, and then you could post a picture of, of her later on. Thank you. That would be good too, giving kisses. Um, that she is super excited about um, finding her forever home or something like that. So play on words. Even if you guys think it's cheesy, just do it. People love it. People eat it up. Um, and it's intriguing. So make sure you're posting one to three times a day just with different content if you are going to post more than once. Um, use positive words. Do not use negative words. So when you are using, that's the you and pups, um, positive words, again, you want to play up your dog or cat's strength. Um, you want to focus on the positives of them. Um, so I would say Pops is super good at fighting crime and keeping the bad guys away. Um, and that's why she earns dog bones. Hopefully you guys saw her and I wasn't aimed. Look at that smile. Yep. And then I could say something like uh, her smile will ward off anybody. Um, she's just a little shy. Any special advice for promoting a senior dog? Okay, um, so I would play off the senior dog being able to tell you stories about their life, um, maybe saying that they're wise, they're smart, um, that you can teach an old dog new tricks, and then maybe show off that you, is it Butch that you have? I don't remember who you have, Beth. I wanted to say his name's Butch, but I could be wrong. Um, but playing off that... You don't have to train them necessarily, but you can still take them out um, and they still go on walks and stuff like that. And Boomer, I knew it was a B, Boomer. So Boomer, um, you could play off Baby Boomer. Excuse me, ma'am. Somebody's trying to dig a hole right in front of me. I don't know what Triple's thinking. Um, but you could play off Baby Boomer since his name is Boomer. Um, that his snores are like a big boom, but they're cute. Um, but really just giving them a personality and focusing on that you don't have to do a lot. Like maybe they're potty trained um, and they know their routine, um, that they're not stuck. They're, I don't want to say that they're stuck in their old ways, but, um, you know, they have their normal bedtime so they won't keep you up all night and stuff like that. So kind of playing off like a senior citizen um, maybe they'll sit around and play bridge with you or they'll play Yahtzee. Although I love Yahtzee and I also love cribbage. I, I like a lot of different card games. So maybe make painting Boomer like he is in um, a, an assisted living facility because he's living with you right now and you guys play um, cribbage or any kind of card game like that at three o'clock every day. And then he gets his um, afternoon naps on the regular and then he's puts himself to bed at like six o'clock or something every night, but kind of making it like that relatable to older folks. Um, Cause I do think it's awesome when older folks um, adopt senior pets, cause it's just a good match. Um, 
Personality. So get creative again. You want to show off your pet, who they really are, and then stop sign language. So that's the one that I mentioned um, where you guys don't want to say, because somebody is naughty and likes to dig holes right there. I'm not naming any names. Um, that's not something I would feature uh, necessarily unless I wanted to make it fun and be like, she likes to go mining for jewels. You're welcome, Beth. Um, she likes to go mining for jewels and she finds treasures and stuff like that. But honestly, I wouldn't say triple is a digger and digs holes and has ruined my yard. And I'm so angry. I'm not really angry. I've given up at this point. Well, I haven't completely. It'll look good. Um, <clears throat> but I wouldn't say that in a post necessarily. That's something that I would wait for the virtual meet and greet or a couple months from now doing the in-person meet and greet. And I'd say, yeah, we've had some issues with triple, triple digging. We're really trying to stop it. Um, I haven't figured out how to stop her. She likes, she, I've tried to use cayenne pepper. And then also um, sometimes when you put dog business in the hole and then cover it up, sometimes they don't go back for it. Um, the only time, I mean, she's slowed down. Anyways, if you guys have any suggestions about getting a dog to stop digging, let me know. Uh, sidebar. So don'ts. Let's go through some do's and don'ts. Um, when you guys are posting, um, you might see your run of the mill meet hops, meet triple, meet schooner. So you don't, you want to steer clear of like meet schooner or my name is hops, or we don't know why triple is still here. We don't know why schooner is still here. Um, cause you're kind of putting that negative commentation on that when you say that, um, here's our pet of the day, um, or my foster needs a home. So you're not really... It's more of like one of those sad pleas that you're trying to get the pet adopted. Um, and it's old and used. So um, you, there are some examples for do's. So you want to start off when you guys are writing your captions. Who's the best fetching pup around? Um, or for a cat, you could say catnip loving toy swatting purring machine looking for... Um, that significant other, uh, other to spend the rest of your life with or something like that. Um, when you're quarantined, what else is there to do besides petting a dog or hanging out with a cat? Um, let's see. Uh, or you could have like couch surfer seeking a companion to watch homework bound with. So things like that. Again, you're humanizing the pet. You're using words that make the pet think that they're uh, or seem like they're relatable to you that you can have conversations with them because I'm going to be honest. I talk to my pets sometimes and have conversations with them. They're really great listeners in case you guys ever, ever needed to know that. Um, look at Batman's passed out right now. He's not fighting crime. He's taking a break, waiting for the bat signal so he can go under his bones. Um, there you go. See, I just did some fun marketing for you uh, on the fly. So, uh, what else we got here? So when you guys are doing posts and things, um, you can do all your different social media platforms, but if you want, if you're going to be a foster for a while, or if you think you're going to hang on to your pet, or you want to promote pet Alliance in any way or other shelters or whatever, um, you're thinking about doing, make your own page. So I have my own page um, that I always post these goofballs on. It's my Instagram page. It's called Brew, Co Brew Crew Pups because um, there's fun things like this that they do and I think the world enjoys it. Um, Schooner says, yes, it's exciting. Please come follow us. Uh, they're on Instagram. Um, so they have their own platform, but I also always post um, the dogs that I take running and then any dogs that I foster or any dogs that become my office dogs until they get adopted. So I have my own platform. Is it wildly followed? No, but I'm at least trying to put the word out there. And honestly, from posting um, in the last year, I've gotten about four pets adopted, which for me is great. Um, and it's all been people that I know that have been on social media. Um, and it also has made it so um, people know that I work at Pet Alliance. And uh, if they want a dog or cat, they tell me what they're looking for. And I tell them that I'll go hunting for them. So you too could um, potentially get people to go have you as the go-to person to try and find them a forever pet. Um, so that's kind of awesome. So don't be afraid to make your own page. If you do make your own page, uh, you can see 
Uh, some other examples, Anita, who's our longtime puppy foster, uh, she's got puppy fostering. And then Jeff and Lisa, who uh, foster kittens for us. Oh, Anita's right there. Hey, what's happening? Um, they also have their own pages, Orlando kittens. You love my doggy running pics. That's, I do too. They're great. Uh, it's, they're fun. I get a good workout. That's how I stay in shape. Um, I'm having to run these beasts, although I run them normally anyway, but I really do miss running my foster dogs or my, my shelter pups. There's a butt. Um, because I'm not at the shelter. So, uh, let's see. What else? What else? What else? Um, also, our executive director, Steve, if you haven't seen his page, he's got Steve's foster pups because he has started fostering pretty regularly. In fact, he had Anita's pups for a little bit while um, she was away, which was awesome. Um, and then again with Anita and then Jeff and Lisa mopping the floors and bleaching. My puppies went back today. Oh, yeah, I saw that. You are busy. Busy woman. Um, We'll call you when we have our next mom and pups. <laughs> um, but Anita and then Jeff and Lisa take their own foster applications. So they've been doing uh, what we were suggesting kind of with a foster to adopt program. They've been our foster ambassadors for a while and it's worked out well. And they've saved, I don't know how many lives. Um, so it's, it's really beneficial if you guys want to keep doing it. Make your own page. Um, use multiple platforms, post, post often. Um, what's another way besides social media? Social media is fantastic. Um, you can take your dog for a walk, honestly, um, if you take them out in the public, which is kind of our idea with Hound Around Town, though it's more focused on de-stressing the pet. But if you get a pet um, out and about in the public, um, putting an adopt me vest or an adopt me bandana on them, or just talking to people. Uh... Oh, that's awesome. Julie, that's super cool. I don't know if you saw that, Anita. You inspired her to foster, so that's super neat. Woo! I like that. That's really neat. Um, <clears throat> so just taking your pet out in the public, even if you're not going to go for a walk, when life goes back to normal and you're down the road and you're fostering, um, and they have all their shots, that's important. Um, but if it's an adult dog that you're fostering or you're doing the pajama pot, um, pajama paw program that we'll talk about. Take them out. Take them out and about. Um, even right now, you can take them out for a walk. Um, social distancing, obviously. Uh, I don't know if any of you guys go to Lowe's or Home Depot. Those are still open, so you could still let your foster dog sniff around there. Um, I just don't know that people are petting dogs right now, so don't get offended if people are not rushing over to pet your dog. Um, so, and then if people start talking to you, asking you questions, then you can also get exposure for Pet Alliance, what we do, and maybe even recruit fosters. So that's the pretty cool thing about it. Um, trying to go through my notes here. I think that's pretty much all I have. It's really just focusing on having fun and being creative. You guys are in control. Julie, glad to have you. Yes, I agree. Glad to have you, Julie. Um, but you guys are in control. Have fun with it. Um, take as many pictures as you want. Post one to three times a day. Be creative. Use those positive words. Um, and really, you're just trying to find the pet at home if you don't fall in love with them first. Who knows? You might talk yourself into keeping the pet. Um, does anybody have any questions? Um, anything about what you should do? Um, if you guys do need any help with your fosters and creating anything, shoot me an email. Um, that's one of the things I love to do. And also you can add on top of the memos that you guys have for your foster dogs. Um, you know, put that profile in there. So when they, somebody clicks on the website, um, they see that fun little personality uh, profile in addition to how they can contact you guys. Um, for fostering. No questions. This has been great. Right on. Thank you, Pat. Um, as always, I'd like to thank my buddies who make me more interesting, fun, and exciting. Triple the Hulk. And we've got Hoppies over there, Captain America, protecting pups one dog bone at a time. And then over here, Batman. Um, they're pretty exciting. You're very welcome, everybody. I will be posting this. Um, oh, they're getting feisty again. Going to fight crime. I don't know what they find. The Avengers are on it. Um, 
And cats too, absolutely, Lisa. Um, so, and I don't know if you guys have experience dressing cats up, but you know, they look pretty cute. I think there was a meme going around with uh, a cat that had a unicorn hat on that said, I can't wait for things to go back to normal. The humans have too much time on their hands. And I thought that was pretty funny. So if that's something you guys want to do a going back to memes, memes, videos, pictures, pictures of the dogs doing stuff, the cats rolling around, eating catnip, doing that or nudging it, whatever they do. Um, and yes, everybody stay safe. Uh, we've got a webinar tomorrow with Stephanie, our cat behaviorist, at 11 o'clock. It's actually going to be on Zoom, so it's on a different platform besides YouTube. However, I'm going to record it and put it to our YouTube channel when we're done. So if you guys don't have any more questions um, or you feel more comfortable emailing me, please do and stay safe. And I will see you guys soon. Or you'll see me soon. I won't see you soon. <laughs> yes, the pajama one's going to be awesome, Pat. I I will probably be in pajamas, not gonna lie. All right, you guys, have an awesome day. Thanks for watching.